hello guys welcome back to another android ad mob tutorial in this video here i am going to show you how to place a banner ad from ad mob in your android application before going to place any ad units from ad mob you have to integrate google mobile ads sdk in your android studio project i already demonstrated that in the previous video of this tutorial series so for this project here i already integrate google mobile ads sdk now i am going to show you how to implement a banner ad from AdMob into this android studio project for that first go to the official documentation page of google AdMob. go to this section implement a banner so this is the xml element needed for placing a banner ad so i copy this So in my project, there is only one activity, that is the main activity. I'm going to place the banner ad into the main activity. So here at the bottom of this page, I place a banner ad from AdMob. So here the element is an ad view. We have the ad size into banner. We have the ad unit ID. So for every ad units from AdMob, there is an ad unit ID. Always use test ID units ID for testing purpose. If you use a real ID unit ID for testing purpose, that is against AdMob policy. That may cause your AdMob account to be suspended. So always use test app ID and test app ID unit IDs for testing purpose. So here I use some test ID unit ID. So now I will show you how to load an ad into this ad view. For that, go to main activity.java create some variables for ad view I name it as m ad view now we can initialize that variable for load an ad into this ad view we need some add request so create some variables for add request I name it as add request new add request dot builder and call the build method so now we can display an ad on the ad view for that you have to call the method load ad and pass the ad request so now we successfully display a banner ad in our android application now we can test the project so i run the project so now here at the bottom of the page we have a test banner ad from AdMob. Now I will show you how to handle the add events of this ad view. For that, I'm going to set some register, set add listener. So here I implement all the callback methods for the add listener. Here we have a method called on add loaded. This method will be invoked if the add successfully loaded. If the add is failed to load, this method will be invoked. If the user tap the add and open the add, this method is invoked. If the user left the application by clicking an add, this method will be invoked. And if the user come back after clicking the add, this method will be invoked. So in all these cases, we display some lockout message. So now we can test our project again. So run the application again. Uh, we can test the lock message. We can filter the lock message. Uh, here it is added test. So now uh, in our emulator, the add is successfully loaded. So the first method will be invoked. Now I click the add and here one add is open. So the second method is invoked. Add is visible now and user left the application. Now I come back to the application again. So here the last method is invoked. User return back to the app after tapping an ad. Okay, so this is how we handle the add events of a banner ad. So now if you want to fill the entire area using this banner ad, you have to change the ad size so here we use a simple banner ad so instead of a simple banner ad here i use something like this smart banner ad in that case the ad will automatically fill the entire size of the screen 
So now we can test the project output. So now you can see, now the entire area of the screen is filled by the ad. So this is how we implement a banner right from Agmob in our Android application. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.